Yeah, no, that's and that that was the impetus to write Spark. Uh, you know, I spent many many years uh, trying to understand the brain and how it works, and writing about it. Uh, I wrote a book in in the nineties uh, co called A User's Guide to the Brain, and that's after a, a bunch of books on ADHD and on uh, other forms of. Uh, unwellness in, in, in uh, one's called shadow syndromes about mild forms of, of mental problems or psychiatric problems uh, that we all have, we all share. And, uh, but user's guide was how the, how the brain really works and, uh, and, and, and works and, and what, what we could know about how to make it work best. And that's where a uh, very important uh, chapter in all the books that I've written is is about using uh, movement, wellness, uh, you might say, but but using exercise as a as a starting point for so much that we do uh, uh, to to make ourselves the well 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 as we can be. How how would our conversations with our significant other that are a little bit more contentious be if we both did a physical movement program, went on a hike, did an exercise program, or went on a horseback ride before we had that pivotal conversation, which if we just sat in our house and stared at each other, could be a little bit more of a violent communication pattern than, um, than otherwise. Yeah, well, no, you, you know, when you do move, you, you change the the whole chemistry and electrical issues in your brain, everything's different when you move and after you move uh, so that you're more likely to have the right neurochemistry to, to uh, address a contentious issue um, so that you're, and, and we see this in the schools and, and using the broad brush right if if we have the kids exercise in the morning uh when they come in to school for even 30 minutes pretty good exercise moving around intense fun captivating we see a, a big drop in uh problems with their managing their uh participation managing you know the they're not sent to the principal because they're out of line they're much more not compliant but much more cooperative much more involved and they're much more present because we've changed their chemistry or they have changed their chemistry not we have but they've changed their chemistry uh in their brains and and so they're 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 calmer and they're much less likely to go into the aggressive side of things. Uh, you know, I started in psychiatry working with aggression um, and it led into attention deficit disorder and all that. But, uh, and, and you know, you can manage aggression with, with medicine, with, with, uh, meditation uh with exercise um you know and and exercise really does do a job in in helping us be less reactive in an impulsive kind of way to whatever uh comes from the environment or from internally so that we have a better control over our own responses over our own and by the responses, not just physical responses, but emotional responses. And we know, for instance, if you are trained, if if somebody does a third of what you do during the day, you're you're going to see uh, them. They are going to see that they are in much better control over their impulses, and they're much less likely to get stressed. Uh, because uh, the 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 business of being too re too over over responsive is is that 
they they don't put the brakes on and putting the brakes on is is so important when we're talking about having a contentious moment being being uh, you know in, in an argument or being in a discussion mm -hmm. where uh, things are likely to get out of control really important things to hear john i um when you were speaking about that i popped into my head uh the play oklahoma so in an agrarian society and a ranching society in the 1800s, um, I thought about the idea of the farmer and Mrs. Farmer and then the kids and then any other aunts, uncles and grandparents who lived there or adopted people. So they're in this thing. And if the, if the farm is flourishing or they're making that attempt to, to help that farm flourish, they've got to, you know, with a bucket of peaches, and a chicken uh, that they're bringing over to a rooster to mate with the other chickens, doing this physical work and seeing the the bounty that this is going to provide, and then the teamwork and the esprit de corps, and then the beautiful part of the fields and the trees, et cetera. You, 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 I can't imagine when that's the intentions are there to thrive, or if it's indeed thriving, I can't imagine there not being a sparkle in the eye and a dynamic connection between those people where you're going to get this open heart, open minded and serotonin and dopamine, all, all this wonderful biochemistry as a result. Does, does that sound accurate? Oh, yeah. Now, don't forget, there's a, 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 a another hormone that, that plays an important role that we're paying more attention to these days, and that's oxytocin which is the love hormone or the bonding hormone and